heading off to the Royal show. Um, the weather is actually surprisingly cleared up at the moment. There's some blue sky shining through those clouds. It was just pouring it down a minute ago, but I think it's going to be on and off showers all day, which is really typical show weather, but you know. So I will see you when we get to the show. It's going to take us about 21 minutes to half an hour to actually get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fun. So after being sat in traffic for 40 minutes, we are finally here. Got a mango and pineapple smoothie. My favourite shop. So just currently looking for an extra small hat because I lost mine when we were in Wales doing the Free Peaks Challenge last year, but they all seem to be large. So it's just started to rain, luckily. I have shelter and John's present. Where are we going?
weather has stayed nice and clear and it's actually been quite hot. Um, it did rain for about 5 to 10 minutes but then it stopped and it cleared up quite quickly. So yeah, heading home now. We've actually never done a food shop in Asturias, so we thought we'd come here to see the price differences. So finally got the correct medication. Okay, so we are back home now, finally. I am actually really glad to be home because I am so tired and just want to be able to sit down with a nice cup of tea, which John's going to make me in a minute, aren't you John? Aren't you? Thank you. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just show you the few little bits we got. We didn't actually get very much at all. Um, which was quite shocking, I'm not going to lie, but we've got a few things. Um, we've got Apollo, a like waterproof dog bed for in the car, but I haven't taken it out of the car just to show you. I'm sure you'll see it in a further video at some point, but yeah, if I didn't take it out, just put it back in again. Um, and then I also was given by the Royal Air Force was this like squeezy, stress bone type of thing which is actually really nice and soft to play with. It's not like those truck ones that if you squeeze, it's quite hard to squeeze and like the head pops off or something. So that's quite nice, but I'll probably keep trying to look at it and eat it. Um, also, we went to the Rydale shop, which is one of my favorite farm like shops or like clothing. Um, and we got John's shirt, which is like this khaki green checkered shirt. And this was only £15, which I thought was really, really good. Or it was like 2 for 25 I think it was. So... It's basically 25 each. 
Yeah, and they were supposed to be £25 each, so that's, that's quite a good bargain, I thought. Um, and then we also, obviously we went to quite a few stores, but um, there was a Macmillan store, which really stood out to me because they looked after my nan when she had cancer before she sadly passed. And I just put a little bit in their donation pot and they gave me a little factor 50 sun cream, which is really, really adorable. Let me just find that out. And you can just literally keep it in your bag. It won't take up any space at all. And then when you, I don't know, because like on a day today, on a day like today, sorry, um, it was like raining at one point, really cloudy, and then the sun just popped out out of nowhere. So it was just nice to put maybe a little bit of cream on your nose, back of your neck, top of your ears or your scalp, and it just keeps you obviously from getting sunburn, um, because obviously being burnt on the skin from the sun can give you skin cancer and you don't really want it. I'm um, not going to lie, as you know, I've had cancer and it's not the most fun things. Um, and then it also gives you this sun safety little booklet which I think is pretty good so you can pretty much read on how to check and what you should do to stay protected in the sun. You get a little Macmillan pen and you also get another little leaflet which says signs and symptoms of cancer and it basically you get to see um, what a man's body shows and it will show you um, how to check a woman and a man's body and you'll have a picture of a man's body and a picture of a woman's body and just things that you should be checking for um, for certain types of cancer so I think that's really really useful and I'll probably definitely keep it and check a lot more regularly because I really think people should regularly check themselves um, because you just you don't know it can happen and it's better to be and it's better to just catch it early. I know you don't want to find out and you don't want to hear those words, but would you rather find out and hear those words and get it caught early and be able to come over cancer and then enjoy the rest of your life or catch it too late, hear those words still and then not be able to survive from it. And you know, I definitely would prefer the first one. Um, but yeah, and it was an amazing day up until the point I lost my purse, <laughs> which had some money in it, um, but luckily I found it, which was a sign of relief. It took me about five minutes, but obviously it felt like an hour or two because I was panicking, um, but I found it, thank God. So I had such an amazing day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!